For this assignment, I used my math course and created two activities for my students. You can see this is my first grade math course. My students were told to go into course materials and then in module two, they, well, first of all, they've been watching these learning videos, which is really cool. I assigned them a week's worth of learning videos, and these are the ones that connect directly with Eureka Math. And it's really cool because it models for them the different word problems. Um, but something else that I had them do, the two activities I had them do, this first one was subtracting by crossing out with pictures numbers up to 20, because our target is subtract numbers within 20 using multiple strategies. And this is a CK12 activity. And I had them work the problems on paper so they could show their thinking. But they did this activity, and it's this video, and it shows these different word problems. I'll word show it problem. to you. Subtraction with pictures, cross out. Numbers up to 20. Okay, so then Mary they have these problems, points, and it reads it for them, which is nice. Okay, and then the other one I had them do, and this was really cool, where they counted backward from 20, which our target is count backwards from 20. So I showed them, I created an assessment, and I showed them um, the question was, use the record option, count backwards from 20, starting at 20. And then I showed them how to do the recording. So you can see my friends submitted their responses. I'll show you one so you can see it. Um, here's Kenneth. So they made their recordings, um, counting okay, backwards so from 20. Some of them I helped them. And I would like for you to count backwards from 20, so go ahead. 20, 19, 18, 17, 18, 15, 14. Okay, so what I did was, um, for some of my friends who struggled with how to submit the assignment, I helped them. But the rest of them, they were able to do it on their own, and then I gave them a rubric um, on what I was looking for. So they saw the rubric, which this is my rubric. And for example, my friend Kenneth, he scored a proficient, or a meets expectations. So he got a three, and... Um, I put a comment down here so that he can see the comment. And I've emailed my parents to let them know that when their student logs into Schoology, they're able to see the students' grades. So any of these assignments that I create and give them an assessment, I make comments so then they know exactly um, why they received the score that they received. So those are my two activities. And I can't wait to experiment and do some more. I've got another one that I've created in here where they're going to do the same thing. They're going to skip count by tens to 100. So that'll be the next thing we do.